All right, let's see what we can do with the shadowing. When you're coming around the oranges, and as the light, as the orange comes back in where the light can't get it too much, that's called a form shadow. In other words, that in the 2D plane that you're looking at, that kind of forms and makes it into 3D. Now these shadows down here are called cast shadowing because all it is is blocking the light to cause that to shadow. Where this, the light comes around and then the roundness and it kind of fades out. Form shadow, cast shadow. Okay, for what we're going to use, let's just use some plain raw umber here for our shadowing. Now, if we look at our oranges or our drawing here, I have it right in about right here. Raw umber is just kind of a grayish brown, I guess, pretty neutral. It's an earth color. You have raw umber and then you have burnt umber, which has a little more um, red in it. All right, let's see what we're doing here. Got to look at my now shadowing. You know, as as it's when you get close to the line here, it's going to be darker, and then you got to try to phase it out towards the edges. Darker when the cast is in the crevice there. All right, then we have it right here. Right in here. I'm gonna switch over to this one. I like to get the bigger areas. I get a smoother type. I think I can control my gradations a little better. Maybe not. Maybe it's just I like this brush. Okay. Now we got to get something going in there. It's a little bit darker. A little less water maybe. Look closely. You're shadowing from the your real oranges over there. If you if you did set yourself up, you don't have to. I paint a lot of my fruit paintings without looking. I just met you know, drawing so many oranges and stuff. Don't really have to have a model. Let's round this out because that would round out the shadowing showing me a little bit rounder. Alright, let's darken, see if we can get some dark paint in here a little bit better. Okay. And you know what? I'm going to get a tint into the paper. We should probably indicate some kind of the background here. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Just, I'm just going to take a little bit of red. Very light red. And that's going to be my background here. So boy, this paper is really going to buckle because I went really close. Very little. And I'm just going to bring that down to where the shadowing starts. Because my next little move is going to be... I'm going to add a little bit of blue here. I got a lot of my blues hidden from you. There they are. It's just they use a little bit of this cerulean blue in here, just light, just like the just like the red on the top. Just kind of blend them all in. Oop, 
got a little more than I wanted there, but that's okay. And what I'm going to do is take these blue edges and kind of blend them right in with us. Those raw umber, these edges right here. So they kind of soften them up. I know my table's back in here somewhere. We we'll do one more little layer. All right, let's let this kind of. Tell you what, let's just get a little bit of the blue sets is the complementary color to the orange on the color wheel, so it'll, it'll make it look a little more orange. Alright, let's let that settle or dry, and then we'll finish these up. Whoops, hold on. Got a little bit of this running into my orange here. Tell you what, I'll whoops. Now we got uh, no big deal. Probably should have done that anyway, just give a little more orange. Up in here. And then we'll come in and we'll, all we want to do is paint the oranges. We're not looking for a great composition right now on the entire picture. I just want you to get used to painting these oranges. Or laying in their kind of semi-small washes. And you're glazing, you're layering, you're doing a little bit of everything. Alright, let's let this one dry. And then we'll come in and finish. All right, let's take a look at our oranges now. We laid in a little bit of background just very lightly. So let's go in now and add a little bit more darkness to that. Now we remember we used uh, raw umber, so let's just continue with that. I'll tell you what, let's start down here today. Not get ourselves in a, not enough water. Tight position there. comes round like the orange. So you know, I don't have enough water. Okay. Try this guy. Not enough water or not enough paint on this one either. Darkest part should be right where that loses the light down in here along the bottom. That's if you look at your model there, your that's the darkest part. So I'll just lay this in for now. And then we'll darken the uh, parts right around the orange. With maybe a darker paint. Alright, let's let that seep in for a while.